everyone, welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesale, and today we have Sandra Ese and Isia Fordele on set with me. Hello. Hello. Hi, I've how missed are you? you guys. Same missed here. You as well. Have you been? I've been good. <laughs> After our Saturday drama, <laughs> Saturday night, last, last Saturday, exactly one week. One week today, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. I don't Isi, want to Isi go has not again. recovered. Oh. No. She was shocked to see me on on Sunday. Like, how were you able to? In fact, <laughs> in fact, like I I, just, I told you earlier on, I I reached another level of respect for you for Aww. you to be able to do that and still hold and yourself show the next day. Wow. Yeah, if it was me, ha, I would cry my heart out. <laughs> I am so devastated. Oh, I'm, I'm oh traumatized. <laughs> The show was good. Mm, absolutely. You yeah, have no choice. Sandra, exactly. how are you doing today? I am very well. I was a bit under the weather um, yesterday and earlier today as well. But right now, I feel um, much better because, like you said, the show has to go on. Absolutely. However, I woke up to the news of Kathy, Kathy of um, yeah. Big Brother, losing her younger brother. And the interesting thing is, he actually didn't do anything. He just went to get groceries and then he was walking down the road and someone just shot him from the car. I mean, there is all the details. You can check it out in the news. But that's, um, that's basically what is trending on, on, on uh, out there. Yeah, and it's just, it's just sad. It's very sad. In fact, most <sighs> times, in all honesty, Sanzi, when they say relocation, when, I mean, say you want to relocate or whatever, yeah. that is the most scary thing for me. Because you don't even know who you would offend. Exactly. Somebody would just wake up and say, I have mental health, health issues. Mm -hmm. Pick up a gun and go to it. And because sometimes be on a most of these things is easy for them to access. It's yes. unlike yeah. here where I you mean, don't have access to guns. You and don't all that, have yeah. access to that. So sometimes when people it. are saying they want to relocate, yeah, it's good. But you see, there are so many things that... That comes, comes with it, it yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. How about you, Isi? How are you doing? doing? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a wonderful show we share on today. Uh, yeah, we're hoping <laughs> to have a great show today. I just want to say thank you to my friends. You know, I don't say that so often. Mm. Noma Ifanga, she's amazing. I thank know, you so much. Right? Like, Noma is yesterday, she's she was my superhero. She just went all out. Wow. And she rescued me from a lot of things, you know. She because <laughs> you know the, my whole day was upside down yesterday, oh dear. and she was able to rescue me. You know, she did my makeup, gave me, you know, ah, it was just too much. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Noma Fanga. I don't say this Noma often, but you know, amazing. I love you. I want a friend like that. <laughs> Noma is, no, then you, you need to meet. Then I have another. I know her. I have another big sis, um, Toyin Tunde Oladipo. She, mm. she just got me this. You know, the fancy face shield. Oh, the one really? That, the one that the Oniru's wife. Yeah, she just wow. got it for me, so thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm here to see you wear it. Yeah, I'm not. What I, I told I wanted. To, I wanted to wear Mr. K. Say no, you can't wear it on the show. I said okay, no problem. Aww. <laughs> All right, so here's what we found as today's quote: "Of what use is democracy if it is not for the poor?" Now that is from Ferdinand hmm. Marcus. Of what use is democracy if it is not for the poor? You know, yesterday we talked about, you know, understanding true democracy today. Yeah. And it was democracy. Today. Yeah. Today we want to focus, you know, on understanding if our democracy is tailored for the African terrain. Yeah. You and know. you know, according to this quote, I remember that I think we were having a discussion prior to the show started. Part of what drove NKO Abiola, because June 12th is also like... A, part a, of it. Yeah. yeah. It associated with it. So part of what drove him to run for election is because he wanted to, you know, take people away from poverty, change the status quo in the society. So, yeah, I like the quote. I think that's what true democracy should be. Mm -hmm. Well, part of what it should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, there mm -hmm. are other things. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. the concept that you said uh, that it is the... The, that's the that's the that's what democracy should be all about. Mm. But the concept here is: Do we really have something like that this in Nigeria, Nigeria and in Africa? Mm -hmm. mm. Absolutely. So today our focus is to ask if our democracy is tailored for Africa, and if not, what must we do to effectively practice true democracy? And we have none other than Sheon Kuti to talk to us. But first, mm -hmm. let's take a quick break for what's in the news.